called moshing, a dance craze that's even more aggressive and violent than the slam dancing fad of the 80s. Teens call it fun, but parents beware. Three kids have already been killed and countless others injured. Jody Baskerville has tonight's hard copy special investigation. It's a frenzied dance that builds to manic mayhem. Running into each other, slamming each other, beating each other up, whatever. You use your body to keep up with the beat. You always come home with bruises and bumps and everything, but pay the price for going in. It's mosh madness, and when you enter the mosh pit, it becomes a dance with danger. I've had my head cracked open, you know, stuff like that. Moshing is the latest dance craze to capture the hearts and the minds of the generation they call X. At clubs like the Troubadour in Los Angeles, mosh pits spring up whenever there's a band that carries the right kind of beat. But watch out. They can get hostile. I mean, some, someone might accidentally bump you and, and then some guy would get, you know, really upset and punch him or, you know, just punch you, punch a girl. Oh, sure. I've gotten hit before. That's why some moshers take special precautions before they go into the pit. Do you wear this into the mosh pit? Right. Don't That's what I wear in the mosh pit. Okay. Why? Because huh? I don't want people to hit me in the face. So you want to wear this. Oh, and as the moshing beat builds, so does the violence. So far, three deaths have been reported last year and more than 1,000 injuries. Moshing is going to continue to occur. I don't see that stopping. But where the serious injuries are going to occur, they can stop the music and ask them not to do it. But the danger doesn't stop the lead singer of the band, the Decrux, from joining in. People have respect when you're on stage. When I go into the crowd, this is fun. It is big fun. It's fun for them, it's fun for me. And they respect me for giving them respect. So you're not afraid of getting no. hurt in the mosh pit? No. In the beginning, moshing was supposed to be a kinder, gentler version of slam dancing. A dance craze made popular during the punk era. But now some former moshers say they quit because moshing is getting out of hand and kids are getting hurt. Some of the moshers we talked to have the scars to prove it. I got this scar right here. And I just got trampled and like some guy with a spike bracelet fell on top of me and, and gouged into my leg. I was about 13 years old, uh, someone pulled a knife in the middle of the pit and that was pretty scary. He ended up stabbing six people and... The last time I did it, there was a, a big open area in the audience and my arms got caught under me and so I did a face plant on concrete, which wasn't exactly fun. We want to try to get hurt and they want to cry. No spikes? No sparks. Many moshers come to the clubs dressed to impress, but spikes are a no-no. Tight security helps keep moshing injuries down, but despite the risks, some moshers don't want to quit. It's just pure adrenaline in the pit. You know, you're slamming the people, it just pumps you up. And you just have this great high when you're in there. The mosh pit was just exhilarating. I just loved it a lot. I hear children crying. How long will this dance with danger last? Well, that's anybody's guess. Right now, it's hot, it's happening, and like a lot of things that are bad for you, moshing is addicting. Barry? Thanks, Jody. You, you ever moshed? Barry, I'm going to mosh about the same day you start moshing. I've tried noshing. I thought that was <laughs>